Hey everybody, it's Brian Buffington, and I have a tip for all my school system friends who are going, you know what, we need to have a board meeting, but we need to do it in a quarantined style where all the board members are at their house and it still looks good, sounds good, and the public can view it live. How do we do that? Well, I've got just a thing. So I discovered that Zoom has a feature that allows you to have a meeting in a very private way where just your board members are in the meeting itself, but then there's a special button that you can hit that goes to YouTube or Facebook that allows the public to watch it. They're not actually in the video conference itself, but they get to watch it. And then you can also give them options to leave comments or even include a Google form so they can give you feedback in that way. So let's get started. I wanna show you how easy this really is. So in Zoom, this inexpensive option is 15 bucks a month, no contract, and it gives you this ability. Once you have this pro account, this $15 a month account, if you go into settings, you need to turn this ability on. So actually, I'm going to go to the top just so I can go to the down, so I can go to the bottom, the down, so you can see this. It's under account management, under settings, scroll all the way down, pretty much all the way down, and you'll see this option, allow live streaming meetings. And you want to say, yes, I want that, and then choose the ones you want to allow. But then don't forget, you also get the privilege of turning those on individually or not when you have meetings. They're not by default always streaming to these services. So don't think that's going to happen. Um, so let's go ahead and start a meeting. I'm going to show you how this works. Let's go up here. Host. I'm going to host a meeting. I'm going to do the video off to kind of make life simple. Keep my computer resources down. I'm going to open up Zoom. Join with computer audio. Most, most of your board members will be using a, a computer probably to do this. Once you're here, you'll get all the information you can use to send to your board members to join. There's lots of videos on how to join a Zoom meeting. Um, now, this is also how schools are getting in trouble. Um, teachers are getting in trouble because this information is becoming becoming uh, public. So students are sharing this with others because that's just the way you know life is. Why not? You know, conniving, conniving, crazy folks uh, sharing this information with others, and they're coming into people's meetings and they're not doing nice things. So uh, make sure that whatever information you give to your board members that is kept private. Um, and, but also you give, get the ability, even if it got out somehow, you have the ability to decline in the waiting room. There's a waiting room now. You can decline people when they get into the waiting room, they can't get into the meeting, but that should not be an issue. It should just be your board members and that's it. So once they're in, then you're like, well, I can record it. Um, but what, what, before we get the party started, let's just go live. So I'm more, this is what that $15 a month gives you. It gives you these options here, plus some other cool tricks. Live on Facebook, live on YouTube, live on custom live streaming service. You know, most of you are going to do live on YouTube because you only, you only have one channel on YouTube, maybe your school system channel. Maybe you don't have one yet, so you need to go make one. Uh, P.S. It takes 24 hours for you to get approved for live streaming on YouTube. If you've never done it before, know it's going to take a little bit of time. Don't do this the day before. Actually, about five days before, a week before, go ahead and start practicing. Test this out. Get a few people in your office from their houses and let's just test this out with some people before we go big time. I'm going to do live on custom live streaming service because I have about 10 YouTube channels and it makes life a little more simple for me. So I'm going to do this one. And it's going to ask me all of the YouTube streaming URL information. Um, and you're like, well, Brian, I don't even know what that is. Where do you find that? Well, you got to have a YouTube channel. So I'm going to go to YouTube. And in YouTube, I'm going to go live. Now, see right here, it says a little plus sign. I'm going to go live. But don't forget, you won't be able to go live unless you got your account approved. It takes a little time. Be very patient. Things are happening. This is good. There it goes. And that's actually a stream that we just did last night. We got to debut this, this whole process with Towns County Schools up here in Northeast Georgia. And it went well. It went well. They did a great job with this. So um, I can copy the settings or I can just do a new stream. I'll do a new stream. You have to give it a title. We'll call it Test Meeting public. I'm going to keep this one private for now. Yours will be public more than likely. Schedule for later. 
schedule for later. Um, it's up to you. You want to schedule this ahead of time? You can upload a custom thumbnail. This is pretty cool. So we're getting a little more geeky here. You can schedule it for later. You can put a thumbnail on there. It has like, you know, you know, Brian Buffington schools.com, you know, whatever, whatever you want there. And it actually does a countdown. It lets people know you can give them the link ahead of time. It gives them a countdown to when the meeting's going, when the meeting's going to happen. Is this video made for kids? Well, this video primarily is not geared towards children. So we're going to say, no, it is not made for kids. And you can read more about that there. That's, that's a new thing that YouTube has done uh, to comply with um, the Ch Child Privacy Protection Act. So I'm going to go there, move my face for a second. I need to create the stream right down here. The good stuff's happening now. So there's the live chat, and we can't turn that off. So, um, you know, if you're hosting this, you're like, well, Brian, I want the, the public comments to come in, in a different way. I want it to come through a Google form or something. You can actually turn that off in the settings. So in the settings here, I'm going to turn off live chat. And I need to hit save. There we go. Um, and this is the information we need right here. This is the stream key. So you can copy the stream key, paste it in the coder. So you got to come back to this tab. It was stream key right there, paste it in there. The streaming URL. Now the streaming URL is right here. So copy this, paste it in here. Live streaming page URL, which is different, but that's an easy one too. Up here, there's a little arrow. You click this, share. Copy that one. That's the link the public will actually go to to watch the live stream. So you copy that, put it there, go live. Let's just do it. Let's see what happens. It's preparing to live stream the meeting. It takes a little time, but not like not a lot of time. And note that there is a delay. There is a, I'm guessing like a 15 second delay between the meeting itself and the live stream. See, there it is. It's waiting for Pioneerisa Tech, which is my channel. And I want some passwords. We're not going to do that right now. Um, and once I go live, I go live. So right here, um, I could say go live, and it's going to happen. So right there, they could just see my name. That's what, that's what it looks like. You know, that's the preview right here. But once I go live, the public gets to see that. And you're set. So, hey, lots of fun here. I think it's a simplified way to have an online meeting and let the public see it live streamed in a very private, secure way. Hey, if you have any questions, reach out to me, Brian Buffington at Pioneer Risa. Hey, y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.